Hey guys, welcome to yet another edition of Good Eats and Barbecue. I'm Gavin, your host. Um, I appreciate you tuning in. If this is your first time on my channel, then welcome. Hey, so I'm sure you might have seen this uh, thing going around uh, called shotgun shells. Um, I've seen a bunch of them. A lot of my friends done them. They, they said they rocked. I never tried one, so we're going to try that today. After getting all the ingredients, it's, it's extremely simple to do. Um, it, if you don't have a smoker, you can even rock this out in an oven um, on a regular charcoal grill. Um, it's extremely easy to do. Um, you don't need a smoker, but we're gonna, we're of course gonna smoke ours. We're using our Pit Boss Pro Series 4 vertical. Um, just real quick, I did, so I did find a Komodo egg at Walmart for 100 bucks. It was originally uh, 322 or 327. They marked it down to 297, 167. Now it's 100 bucks on clearance. So if you guys are interested in uh, grilling, getting taking part in a, a pellet, the pellet grill world, um, check your Walmart because a lot of the ones around me, um, they're trying to get all their stuff clearanced out. Um, I act, there's actually four Laredos, the Laredo 1000 Pit Boss. They go for uh, $557 and they're on clearance for $322. It's like $251 off. So, and so if you're interested in getting a new grill or you want to jump into the pellet grill world, check your uh, local Walmart. They have a ton on sale. Um, they're actually all on clearance. So. Never used that egg before, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I thought it'd be a great addition to the channel. So, but anyway, anyway, let's get back to this. So yeah, let's get inside. I'll show you how we uh, prep these up and we'll take a step by step. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, this is all the items you need to make these shotgun shells. I got about six cups of mixed cheese. I have one pound of ground beef. Now this is 93.7 or 93.7. Um, the reason I got this and not like 80-20 is because you don't want all the grease and stuff dripping out of it, making a mess. So. Um, I have a pound of mild sausage. I did take these out of the casings. We're gonna mash this up. Now the fat content from this will make up for the meat, so don't worry about it. Um, your favorite rib rub, today we're gonna to use a Pit Boss Sweet Rub. Uh, we're gonna use that in the mix and on top of them. And then you need your manicotti shell, of course, and then um, some bacon. Now the utensils, the items you need to make it, just any, any mixing bowl work. You're gonna have a grate to put them on. And then I, just a pan so they don't trip on your counter, so. But that is pretty much it. That's right, so the first thing we do. We'll just take our ground meat, throw it in there. We'll take this is a pound a piece, so a pound of sausage. We're gonna give this a quick mix. Our cheese. Like I said, it's about six ounces. And then we are going to take about two level tablespoons of our rib rub. Then we'll just give this a nice mix up. I was going to put some peppers in here, but my wife's not a fan of um, peppers. So but this is uh, this is going to be really lean, really hearty. Um, they said this is going around the internet, so I thought I'd give it a shot. All right, so here's your mixture when you're done. Just mix it up really good. So all you're gonna do is take your raw manicotti noodle, and you're gonna stuff it. Now don't push too hard because these, these will break pretty easy. So you just wanna make sure you get no air pockets. You wanna stuff the your mixture in there. You wanna make sure it's full, go right to the end. You wanna flush it, you don't want a, any overlap. So I'm just gonna stuff this a little more. That is your stuffed shotgun shell. Now we're gonna wrap this in bacon. And I use it a center cut bacon, a piece uh, center cut bacon. So you take your take your shotgun shell and you're gonna just put it here. You only need one piece of these because they're, they're not big noodles, so then you're just gonna wrap this around. Just like that. That's pretty much it. You want to do a single layer so they don't um, so the bacon is crispy. If you overlap it, sometimes it tends to give you raw, so, but that's it. But let me finish this, uh, these, and I'll, I'll share the next step. All righty, there we go. And there is your finished shotgun gels. Now we're gonna do here, we're gonna take our sweet rub that we use to put in the mix, and you're gonna coat these. Now this is not gonna be heated, so you can kind of heavy on these. 
Um, we get the sides and the bottom, of course. Then we're gonna put these in the fridge. We're gonna let these sit for four, probably four hours. And then um, we will bring you back and I'll show you the next step. What we're smoking, what we're smoking on, what kind of pellets we're using. So. That's it. All right, guys, I'll catch you in a little bit. I'm putting in the fridge for like uh, four hours, I said, and then we're good to go. All right, there's our shotgun shells, guys. Like I said, they sat for four hours. I'm gonna hit them a little more rub. Just give that extra kick to them. This bacon's really here, so. There we go. Now this is just leftover stuff that I had. I put some bacon on it, wrapped it up, make a little meatloaf out of it. We'll see how that works, so. Like we're gonna get this on the pit boss. We're gonna run to 270 degrees. Now we're gonna place our shotgun shells uh, right probably in the middle rack. And then our uh, our little meatloaf thing we made, we're gonna put that right under it. Now we're not gonna touch this for an hour. We're gonna let it run at 270. Um, and then we'll bring it, well, we'll open it up, we'll check it. We'll probably put some barbecue sauce on it, a little more rub, but I'll bring you guys back right in about an hour and we'll see how these things look. All right, guys, in just one hour, here are our shotgun shells. Look wicked good. Let me pull them out a little bit. I'm just going to give these a base with some barbecue. This is just some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Bacon's looking crispy already. And I'm going to hit this with a little more rub. In case you're wondering, I did take an inter internal temp of these, and they're sitting right at 170 or 160 degrees. So here is our little pork yum goodness, little kind of meatloaf thing. I'm gonna give this a little barbecue as well. And let that uh, firm up a little bit for another five minutes, and uh, we'll get a cut into them and give it a taste test. Here's our finished product. Bacon crisp up really good on it. Got a lot of seasoning. I added more seasoning to it, of course. And you want to let these sit for like 10 minutes, so they're going to be hot. So, give these a cut. My juicy. I'm going to take a little smaller piece so I can chew it. There we go. Tastes really good. It's really hearty with the meat. Really hearty with the sausage in it. This is great for an appetizer or something quick for dinner. Very simple to do. So. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. But I'll catch you guys in the next cook. Thanks for tuning in.